If you're looking for a great lamb dish that's full of zingy, fresh summer flavours to substitute perhaps a Sunday roast, then I think we've got the ideal thing. It's a Greek salad with a rump of lamb. Okay, so we'll start with the lamb. Okay, all we can just do is cook it skin side down in a very, very hot pan. Like that, just want to get some golden colours. No fat in there at all, so there'll be enough fat come out of the lamb itself. Right. Now that it's there, we'll just season it up. A little bit of salt and pepper. And we just want to give it some golden colour on that side, and then we'll finish it off in the oven in just a second. Cool. In the meantime, we're going to make our fantastic Greek salad. Okay, with loads of Greek flavours, but based around beans. So John, if you can just open a tin of beans right. and drain those off. And maybe if you do some olives for us. Yeah. You just halve the olives. And then horizontally. Ooh, um, that way. <laughs> Give that way. Horizontally. Vertically. Oh yeah. That way. <laughs> okay, and then just halve all those. All right. I have a feeling this isn't moving anywhere. Hey, what are you doing, John? Come here. You've got it upside down, that's why. Just Look. keep Look, stop, 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 stop. Like that. <clears throat> Yeah. Opens no problem. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah just slightly. Thought it would be good to just give a demonstration of how not to do it. Oh, oh yeah. sorry guys. There we go. Try and drain that. Drain that. Meanwhile, our lamb, nice and gold on that side now. That's just going to go into the oven. Nice hot oven for about seven, eight minutes, just to cook through. What are we doing those beans? Nice beans. Beautiful. Into the pan, you please, John. Beans? All right. The beans we're going to warm through slightly. Okay, so just a very low heat, a little bit of oil, some lemon zest. Yeah. Great fresh flavours, a little bit of lemon juice as well. And effectively, you're going to make its own sort of vinaigrette with the oil, the lemon juice, a little bit more pepper as we warm those up. And then, John, if yeah. you can take those tomatoes, quarter them, and take out the middles, and then perhaps you can just pluck some of mint leaves up of there. Just the mint leaves will keep them relatively large. And I've got a red onion, which I'm going to slice up. Try and keep this quite fine. So do you eat much lamb, May? Um, yeah, I do actually when I'm at home, but not being a student. Too not scared to cook it. Too scared to cook it? Why is that? Because yeah, I just think I'll undercook it. And then I'll... Ah, so you like your lamb quite well done? Yeah. Interesting. I've also got some garlic here. We'll just grate that in there. The mint. Got those big leaves, we'll just cut some of them up a little bit. We do want to keep them quite chunky. And is that to get all the flavour out of them? Yeah, you kind of cut it and bruise okay. it a little bit as well, gets more flavour out. So all that can go into our bowl, our onions, our olives, our mint. Should I put them in there? Yep, and the olives. And John, if you can just crumble the feta. Mm. Mm. Fantastic, so crumbling our feta in there. So we've got our beans warming up, we've got all the rest of our salad ingredients ready, and the rump of lamb just needs another five minutes or so in the oven, and then we'll be ready. Our lamb has been in there for eight or nine minutes or so. We'll take it out, and the important process, we're just gonna leave it on the side just to rest. Okay. <laughs> just means it sort of relaxes down, it means when we do cut into it, all the juices won't run everywhere. Okay, okay then our beans in with our salad, and give that a good mix up. So now our lamb's had a chance to rest, we can slice it up lamb. into a few lovely pieces. Yeah, that's, that's about how I like my lamb, I like, like that kind of colour. It's lucky there. It's not too pink. Not too pink, but a nice sort of... Yeah, nice sort of dry. Absolutely, spot on. And our plates, if we just give a nice big portion of the salad, all the flavours mixed up. Mm -hmm. Great, zingy, fresh summer colours. Really zingy. Really zingy. zingy. And we pop our lamb on top. And there we have. If you are looking for a perfect alternative to a Sunday roast that's fresh, full of flavour, then it's our Greek salad with lamb rump, sorted. Beautiful bit of lamb, try that. <laughs>